Hi, this is Michael Becker, and in this lesson of Tinderbox, we're going to talk about adornments, and specifically smart adornments, uh, as well as the ability to use the adornment designator. So there's going to be a lot going on in this lesson, but let's, let's just jump right into it. So let me go ahead and uh, share my screen with you. So right now, uh, the way to use an adornment is a, a, an adornment is a map function uh, where you can essentially um, uh, you know, allow, allow Tinderbox to help you kind of visualize your maps a little easier. You, they're also a really effective tool to manipulate um, uh, your notes. So uh, let me go ahead and show you an example of that. So let me go ahead and we'll call this Tech Companies. All right, and we're going to create an on add function uh, within the adornment. So I can say um, on add. We're going to add the on add uh, attribute so we can so that's visible. Oops, I typed it wrong. We're going to make the on add um, attribute visible, and I'll just give you an example uh, of a particular adornment. So, and what we're going to also do is now create a new attribute called type. And we'll make that new attribute a set and we'll create it. Okay. So this uh, type essentially is, we'll make it a company, you know, we'll call it company, right? And we'll call this one, we'll let type be visible here as well. Okay. And we'll create type here. Okay, we're going to leave that one alone. Just so you, we'll, we'll show it to you so you can see it. So you'll see here, now this type is empty. So what we're going to do is, what we want to do is on this on add, is we're going to say when a uh, when a company is added uh, to a uh, um, this adornment, we're going to say type equals company. So essentially what we want to do is when we add a new note to this adornment on an ad, um, we want the type of that uh, uh, note to be company. So watch this. When I click on the adornment, you'll see it's added a new note. We'll now call it company D. And if we drag it off the adornment, it doesn't matter dragging it off or not. And I'll type the word type so we can have that visible. You'll see that company D has now been given the type uh, company and if you see me anywhere else other than on the endorment so come uh, let me type that here and I go comp ups sorry about that and we'll type this one and we'll say company D and we'll let that um, note appear Okay. You'll see that this one does not have that type because we did not add it as part of the endorment. So adornments allow you to, uh, you know, quickly manipulate and facilitate um, note creation and applying and updating attributes in a, in a really unique way. And they also help for a, a nice visualization on on your maps. Now there's a, a thing called smart adornments, which are super interesting. So what smart adornments do is let's say we want to go ahead and add a query. Uh, an agent query, and we can rather than use um, and and what we're going to also do is modify our on add. Um, so we're going to actually now say color equals color adornments. Okay, now what do we just do here? What we're now saying is when a item is added to this adornment, set the type to company and set the color to the color of the adornment. So let me go ahead and change the color of this adornment so that you can um, see actually this in action. So we're going to go ahead here and change the color of the adornment to say blue. Okay, so now the color of the adornment is blue. So if any new note is added to this adornment, you'll see that that adornment, that color is now going to be blue. So that node is now blue. And if we open up its type, you'll see that its type is also going to be company, right? Because, you know, just to show you that all of these, that these pieces are working. Now watch what happens with a smart adornment. So if you add an agent query to an adornment 
and we'll go ahead and borrow. Um, uh, you know, let's go ahead and just say, um, let's yeah, let's borrow this uh, this search query here, and we're going to add it to the adornment. And we're just going to type in the word text here because we haven't made this one a dynamic one. So if we type text, so what essentially what we're saying is as soon as I hit return, guess what's going to happen? All of the notes that meet the criteria or the pattern of tech, meaning if their sector includes tech, they're going to dynamically move to the adornment and the on add function of the adornment using the designator adornment is going to change the color of the notes to the color of the adornment. So let's watch that happen right now. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to run my queries. Tinderbox has now moved all of the notes that meet the criteria of this adornment search tech, which is company A and company B. And because we use the on add function of uh, the adornment designator, it turns company A's color and company B's color to blue. Um, so this can be a really, really effective mechanism when you're when you're working with larger um, map views and you have got a bunch of notes and they're all over the place. You can use the um, agent query or smart uh, adornment functionality to quickly grab all of the notes, put them in one place within map view for you, and then manipulate those notes using the um, smart adornments um, capability uh, uh, or the adornment designator capability to update the values uh, within a um, within those notes uh, a particular um, um, uh, various uh, various attributes.